Hello, and thank you for volunteering for the Kalamazoo Marathon and the Borges Run for the health of it. Now, runners have told us that the most important part of any event is the excitement and the coordination. And you, as volunteers, are the most important part of that excitement and coordination. One of the biggest parts of your role here today will be as cheerleader. As each runner comes by, we want to give them words of encouragement, whether that's good job, looking good, you can do it, anything. As long as you have a smile on your face, they're going to enjoy it. And also remember, you may be saying this all day long, hundreds and hundreds of times, but as each runner goes by, they're only hearing it from you once. So it's very important. Keep that smile on your face and keep cheering them on. Each aid station will have an aid station team captain. They'll be wearing a yellow vest like this and ask them if you have any questions on what to do, where to be, if there's any emergencies, or if there's anything that they need to know about the aid station and the runners coming through. Here are some tips to make your experience, not only for yourself, but for the runners out here, very memorable and very safe. First, the aid station supplies you will need will be there before you arrive, and your aid station captain will have a parking plan for you. We want you to also be aware of traffic that morning to make sure that you're there on time and that we can get to our parking spots. It's also very important to have the aid station ready and fully stocked for that first runner that comes through. Also for the rush, which each aid station is going to experience, not the first runners, it's not the last runners, but it's the big group of runners. And we need to make sure we have everything ready for that big group of individuals. Also, please bring warm clothing. As you can see today, it's a little chilly out, but even if you just have that as backup, that's really what you need to have. Also, make sure you dress comfortably. You're gonna be out here, you're gonna be on your feet, and you're gonna be happy all day long. Number two, know your role. Your aid station captain will have specific assignments for each of you, and it's paramount that we work together and make this a great experience, not only for the runners, but for everybody here helping them out. Now, if you're handing out water to runners, follow this simple method and everything will go just fine. First, you wanna grab two cups, and then you wanna position yourself either in front of the table or past the tables so that you're not in the way of the runner and they don't run into you. Simply hold out the cup, hold it by the bottom so that the runner can take it either by the side or by the top and let them know what you have. If you have water, I want you to yell, water, 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 oh, and not spill it. But also, if you have Goo Brew, which is an electrolyte replacement drink, and each station will have it, we need you to yell, Goo Brew, Goo Brew, Goo Brew. And then you, when the first runner takes that cup, you hold out the other one, let them know what you have, let that runner take the cup, and then repeat the process by grabbing two more cups. Now each aid station is going to have both types of liquid. They're going to have water and goo brew. Now the first table at your aid station will be water, the next will be goo brew, the next water, and so on and so forth, depending on the number of tables that your aid station has. Three, we need to make it safe out there. You as volunteers need to be aware of traffic at your water station, not only for the safety of the runners, but for the safety of the volunteers. As traffic diminishes, you're going to be asked to clean up your water station. Now this is an important part to leave it unscathed. They don't, we don't even want them to know that we were out there that day. It may also be important for you to pick up water cups and trash past your water station as runners are going to grab them, drink them, and then dispose of them on the course. And four, have fun and pat yourselves on the back because as volunteers, you have one of the biggest roles today at the Kalamazoo Marathon and the Borges Run for the health of it. Thank you. Water, water, water! Thank you. Hey, no problem. <laughs>